Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Shouldering everything alone, and I've lost sight of who you are. That makes you no better than him. You're not alone. You've got a kind, teasing, needy, adorable puppy partner by your side. I didn't ask for this. I don't remember asking for your powers. You may not remember, but I do. You needed me. I'll never forget the words of the old you, Master. <laughs> I haven't seen a human in a while. Everyone's scared of me, so I've been stuck in the WDO library for as long as I can remember. So, uh, you really want to form a pact with me? You don't look like you're in trouble or anything. Let's just say I'm dealing with some special circumstances, and I need your help. Oh, you want me that badly, hmm? Where I'm going, the truth is suppressed even when the mystery is solved. That's why I need you. You have a way to circumvent that. <laughs> You're really depending on me, huh? I may be cute, but I'm still a death god, you know. You gotta pay a fitting price to make a pact with me. I know. If it means perfectly solving the world's mysteries, I don't mind selling my soul. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That is the detective's way. Oh, you've got a few screws in your head loose, don't you? Why are you so hung up on solving mysteries anyway? To make everyone happy, of course. Huh? I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Although, it's a known fact that some truths are cruel in nature. But exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution in my mind. <laughs> are you serious? What does that even mean? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Is it really so strange to wish for that? I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. I said that? When you found out someone created a homunculus of you, and that it was part of the great global mystery? You formed a pact with me to settle things with yourself. And that's the path you chose for your perfect solution. You even sacrificed your memories, and your position as number one, to make it happen. So my being here with you, is proof of your relentless will! What's right or wrong can change depending on who you ask. There are infinite correct answers, but the truth is different. There's only one definite truth, 
And that's what's inside this mystery labyrinth. Whether it's correct or not is a separate issue that you can figure out after the mystery is solved. But right now, you have to expose the truth. Otherwise, nothing can be solved. If you give that up, then your life as a detective, everything you've done up to this moment, it'll all be for nothing. <sighs> Master, you're not alone. If you can't do it by yourself, then rely on me, just like you always do. We may not be the best partners in the world, but we make a pretty good pair. So, don't call it quits by yourself. Exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution. I'm not the old me anymore. There's no way I can do it. But... There is something I haven't given up on. I want to bring happiness to everyone! I believe that from the bottom of my heart! So, I'll keep solving mysteries. Happiness shrouded in mystery isn't real happiness! Master! Real happiness? Happiness not shrouded in mystery? Do you believe that could exist in Kanabu? I see. He's a mystery phantom of you, not me. You think you can achieve this so-called perfect solution? A copy couldn't accomplish it, but you think you can? Just because you're the original? You're an empty shell of a man who has lost his memories. Think you can make everyone happy? I'm by your side, Master. I know, Shinigami. Let's expose these mysteries together. My memories and my past don't matter. I will solve it all as you, my cuckoo head. What do we got now? Oh my gosh. Just give me damage. Don't kill me off the bat, by the way. What do we got? Oh, a reason you got the match. Let's go. Any time now. Any time now. Any time now, no, seriously, any time now. Can we get this game going, please? Oh my god, this is the longest I've ever seen. Thank you. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation received a request from the UG to research homunculi. Why am I facing this direction? Use these immortal synthetic humans for military purposes. Oh, I'm repelling anything? Oh, shoot. Just repel anything. Let's go. The also set up their own research facility, which pit the two organizations against each other. I was just slashing as usual, but then I saw how we're doing this. The UG facility finally succeeded in creating a homunculus. Get over there. Yes. Birth of the homunculus based on the top detective of the WDO, number one. There's probably anything in sight. Let's go. The first of its kind in the world. You, Makoto Kagatsuchi. Here I go. I can't lose. Duplicates? Middle one. Yeah, let's. 
Okay, but do not do that point of view again. The real one holds the sword. A successful specimen in existence. Your creation was the root cause of the grand mystery this city got dragged into. Next. To eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Same thing. And that's why I'll protect everyone in Kanai Ward. These pitiful homunculi didn't ask to be made, and neither did I. Peacekeepers Yomi held the real power in Amaterasu. And upon hearing of the Yuji facility's successful experiment, Amaterasu panicked and extracted blood from all the residents of Kanai Ward to initiate Project Homunculus. The experiment failed, and the defective homunculi went berserk after exposure to sunlight, ravaging the city. This is the Blank Week mystery. You arrived at the city during these events and tried to rectify things. You made the rain cloud generator to block out the sun and brought the people back to their senses. But the original residents had already been wiped out by then. The homunculi didn't remember anything from the blank week, returning to their lives thinking they were human. The Yuji decided to exterminate Kanai Ward along with the defective homunculi. I had the right thing, but I was paying attention. I was just having a dire button. I have to defeat you. Let's go. Left. I have to save Up. everyone. X. Cap. out about the UG's inhumane research. You blackmailed them to cover up the events of the Blank Week mystery. I did whatever was necessary to protect Kanai War. That did was create more unsolved mysteries. Still, I wanted to protect the homunculi. I had to. If I didn't, who would? Negotiations with the Yuji, Kanai War became isolated and independent. True to his word, the former CEO of Amaterasu abdicated his position to you. You immediately put an end to the homunculus research. This was to prevent the creation of any more tragic homunculi, and to hide their existence from the world. Poisonous number one, you took advantage of the WDO. You abducted vicious criminals and brought them to Kanai Ward. Here I go. 
Homunculi. This is the truth behind the global kidnapping case. The emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. But things changed when I discovered I was a homunculus. I've become someone else since I learned there were others like me. Director Yomi was your biggest obstacle in protecting the homunculi of Kanai War. He and Dr. Rester were planning to leak information about them to the outside world. If Kanai War's secret had been made public, the UG would have been forced to act. Yomi grew too powerful, so you summoned master detectives to Kanai War to get rid of him for you! Once gathered here, we faced off with the Peacekeepers just like you wanted. You helped Chief Yaku get his revenge from behind the scenes, taking Dr. Weska and Yomi out of the picture! perfect solution. The only difference is the world hasn't caught up to me yet. The WDO now belongs to me. The unified government will soon fall into my hands. Or so I believed. But I can only lie to the people of Kanai Ward for so long. We're coming to a tipping point. I know the end will come eventually, but there's no turning back. What am I supposed to do? What else should I sacrifice? What can I do to save everyone? All this time, I've carried this burden alone. 
take it anymore. Somebody help me. You did it, Master! Sorry, Shinigami. Can you wait a bit? You wanted someone to stop you from the beginning, didn't you? Were you hoping to be punished for your crimes? Is that why you led me here? I don't fight to lose. As the real me, you should know that. Only one of us will leave this mystery labyrinth. My intention was to review our answers here. It looks like the conclusion has been made. I realized something the first time I came to this city. There was no perfect solution for Kanai Ward's mysteries. And there's a great contradiction here. In order to follow through with the perfect solution, I had to commit another crime. I despise unsolved mysteries more than anyone else. And yet, I ended up creating even more. The mysteries have consumed me. Connie Ward can't be trapped in the rain for much longer. You can't live in a world of lies forever. We have to put an end to this. I guess we do. I know it's our only option. But can you really do it? It's a cruel decision to make. What's wrong? If you refuse, you will be yielding to me. I'll become death or the devil himself for the sake of Kanai Ward. Now, choose. Either you reap my soul, destroy the mystery labyrinth, and expose the truth of Kanai Ward, or give up and remain here forever. What is your solution? Master, I already said everything I wanted to say. In the end, it's your decision. I believe in you. What's wrong? Destroy me already! Otherwise, you will die here instead! choose to destroy the mystery labyrinth, I'll reap the culprit's soul like I always do. That will destroy the mystery labyrinth and kill the culprit. It would solve the global kidnapping case, but there would be chaos in Kanai Ward. The world will know about the homunculi, and who knows what'll happen to them and the city after that. I really don't know what to do. Exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution. The only way to do that is... If you choose to stay in the Mystery Labyrinth, there is nothing I can do. Eventually... It will absorb your soul, and you'll vanish without a trace. If that's the conclusion you choose, I'll see you to the very end. A 
Although he didn't sign a pact, he came here using Coalescence. Which means that once you vanish, Coalescence will shut off and he'll be kicked out of this place. In other words, he'll be the only one to escape the Mystery Labyrinth. Exposing the truth to make everyone happy. I believe in you. Are you sure? I've decided. The mystery labyrinth must be destroyed. That's a relief. I knew you'd make the right choice. I leave the rest to you. I can finally... let it end. No, I won't be the one to destroy the Mystery Labyrinth. What? I'd only need to gather evidence and expose Kanai Ward's secrets to solve this case. There is no place for emotion in that. But that's not how I want things to be. That's not the perfect solution I'm looking for. It's not the perfect solution unless everyone is saved. Do you still not get it? Idealism solves nothing. It's not just about my ideals. I have a plan. What are you going to do? put a lot of thought into this. When it comes to the perfect solution that can bring true happiness to the people of Kanai Ward, there is no answer. In the end, detectives are just outsiders. I don't believe a solution brought by an outsider will make everyone happy. So instead, why not let the people of Kanai Ward decide for themselves? What do you mean by that? Tell everyone in Kanai Ward the truth, and let them choose their own futures. Have the people decide how to fix this problem. You're leaving it to others to solve? That's your solution? It's not my solution, it's everyone's. I'll let everyone in Kanai Ward do what I can't do on my own. Even if a great detective reached out from above, they would never touch the people here. Only the city's residents can solve the contradictions facing them. Do you really think they can accept the truth? I'm sure of it. I believe in them. And I'm sure you do too. After all, you love the people of Kanai Ward. So whether it's right or wrong, at least it's something everyone will decide upon together. That would be for the best. I think that is the perfect solution this city needs. But how do you intend on telling everyone the truth? They might not believe it. That's where you come in. I want you to directly tell them everything. Not as the homunculus of the WDO's number one, but as Amaterasu's CEO, who has been protecting Kanai Ward. I think everyone will listen to you. I want you to work together with everyone who lives in this city to find the answer to this unsolvable mystery. Solving the mystery in the real world will destroy the mystery labyrinth that was spawned from it. Right? Labyrinth is the physical embodiment of a mystery in the real world, after all. If the mystery in the real world vanishes, so will its manifestation here. That settles it. You need to leave here alive so you can destroy the mystery labyrinth from the real world. And you intend to stay here, in my place? Master... I think you already know this, but that means 
You will die. Yeah, I know. Are you sure about this? You're sacrificing your own life just to let others find the solution. I can't believe a detective would make that choice. No, probably not. But remember, I'm just a trainee. Huh. I've done everything alone until now. Even before coming to this city when I was the WDO's number one. I've always decided everything on my own to try to reach the perfect solution. We share the same DNA. And yet, you're trusting someone else to find the solution for you? This feels weird to say to myself, but you're brilliant. That's why you've placed all the burden on yourself, but you're taking on more than you can carry. On the other hand, even though I've lost so much, I was able to grow from it. I'm far from perfect, so all I can do is rely on others to make up for my shortcomings. You do always rely on others whenever you're in trouble. But to rely on others, well, it's like you're entrusting yourself to them. You believe in them, and put your fate in their hands. If you can't figure out the perfect solution, then why not entrust it to someone else? Well, that's one sure way for Master to solve this. You're always letting others make up your mind for you. Cancel coalescence on your own? Yes. Whoever wields coalescence can revoke it at any time. And if coalescence is cancelled, what will happen to him? He was never supposed to be in here to begin with, so he'll be tossed back into the real world. Well then, all that's left is for you to end your coalescence. I'll stay here and wait for you to destroy the mystery labyrinth from the real world. I'm sure your soul will vanish before then, Master. And what if I betrayed you instead? Even if I leave, I may not tell everyone the truth. You would never do that. It's how I know I can trust you with this. Detective Master, I've been saying it all along, but you're just too naive. <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> You've got a good partner. I see. You used to solve everything on your own, but since you lost everything along with your memories, you accepted the help of your partner and surpassed your former self. <laughs> How ironic. Very well. You can count on me. I'll take care of the rest. I'm now going to cancel my coalescence. Master, you can still reconsider this. If the soul of the real culprit gets reaped, the mystery labyrinth will be destroyed as usual. Right, I know, I know. But destroying the mystery labyrinth from outside is a smart idea for a goober like you. Though you did drop the ball right at the end. Even now, you can't be nice? It may not be the perfect solution I wanted, but if everyone in Kanai Ward understands... Aww, but it's such a shame! I wanted to make you a detective greater than number one himself! But I 
guess this is it. Whoa, what's going on? Hmm? What do you mean? It's the Mystery Labyrinth's emergency exit. Emergency exit? An emergency exit, huh? Well, there is one, kinda. There is? But it doesn't solve anything. You'll just go right back to the mess you came from. Besides, to use the emergency exit, you'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. And that is? Don't worry about it. Using it here wouldn't help anyway. Huh? This door is the emergency exit? You'll go back to the moment Makoto was pointing a gun at you, before we entered the mystery labyrinth. But he should be fine now, so I'm sure you can leave without worry. Wait, hold on. It's that easy? What about the heavy price? Oh, that. It's not much. It'll just cancel our pact. What? But if that happens, your memories will come back. Maybe this would actually be better for you. I can get my memories back? If I go through that door? You got it. But what will happen to you if our pact is cancelled? Hmm? Nothing you should worry about. Once you end our pact, you'll forget all about me and the mystery labyrinths. Huh? Why? And that's how it goes with Death Gods. It's why our existence isn't exactly widely known. The same goes for the people who entered the mystery labyrinth using coalescence. They forget all about it. But, but what will happen to you? Will you return to the book? Hmm. I can either return to the Book of Death and sleep for centuries, or vanish with this mystery labyrinth. I actually have no idea. It's the first time anybody's used the emergency exit. But I figured it'd be okay to let you use it, Master. Anyway, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> What's with that face? You should be happy right now. You'll get your memories back and finally be free of your annoying partner. How could I be happy about this? You've helped me so much. Isn't there any way we can leave here together? Don't do that, Master. You should be saying, I never want to see your ugly face again and take off like you just hit the jackpot. You should tell me that you hated our time together. Otherwise, you'll make me second-guess myself. Hey! Before you lost your memories, you solved cases without anyone's help, right? So I've heard. I don't remember, though. Well, because you lost your memories, you were forced to depend on others. You and number one began walking different paths. But in the end, you solved the mystery of Kanai Ward, even when your past self couldn't. Maybe before you lost your memories, you planned for all of this to happen. You figured out that the perfect solution you could come up with on your own wasn't enough. So maybe you trusted the version of yourself that lost his memories to find it. And then you went and trusted the people of Kanai Ward, Master. That's all the more reason why I don't want to forget our time together. Otherwise, I'll never be able to apologize to you enough. There's no other way. That's just how it works. Well, if by some miracle you remembered for just a moment... I hope you make your wish come true. You know, about wanting to eradicate all unsolved mysteries in the world, and making people happy. 
die... Hey, come on, Master! Boys aren't supposed to cry! I, I can't help it. Come on, pull yourself together. You better stand up and walk straight, even without yours truly. I'm putting my trust in you, Master. Yeah, I promise. One day, I'll show you a world where everyone is happy. I swear. Good. There's no time. You better hurry, or the Mystery Labyrinth will absorb you. Bye-bye, Master. Thank you, Shinigami. I've gotten that trainee detective to agree. The preparations are complete. Now, let's begin. I'll be taking all your memories. You sure about this? I would think number one of the WDO could solve the case all on his own. No. Where I'm going, that's not sufficient to make everyone happy. Besides, it's best to pack light for a journey. You sound like someone about to commit suicide. I'm signing a pact with a death god. It's basically the same as dying. <laughs> You're right about that. I mean, you'll be a different person when you wake up. Look after me when I do. I know you won't be able to say much due to our pact, but please guide me on the path to becoming a detective. I'm putting my trust in you. You really are crazy. Nobody should trust a death god with their life. I have a feeling you and I will do well together. You sure you're brave enough to be my partner? You're not gonna whine the whole time, are you? Well, since you've entrusted yourself to me, I'll be your mentor. I'll turn you from a little fledgling to a great detective! I look forward to it. Now, let's begin. Are you ready to give everything for the truth? Yes, of course. And about what you asked earlier. I'm serious. 
I will show you a world where everyone is happy. Even if it's a different version of me, I promise I'll make it happen. So you're fine with every part of the pact? Yes, of course. You better keep your end of the bargain. Even if you forget all about me. Cross your heart and hope to die, Master.